Yesterday somebody on the Raspberry Pi website wanted to know how to get one of these which is a press connector with cables to connect to the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. You can buy them but it's very difficult to get them. It's much easier to make them from a press connector and a piece of flat cable. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you have to put attention to is that these press connectors have a pin 1 indicator. There's a very tiny triangle which shows that up. That triangle, triangle is very difficult to see so in this case I've made it visible by putting some green fill pen on it. So there's your pin 1 indicator. Also the flat cable has a pin 1 indicator which is the red wire on this side. So the next thing you have to put attention to is how does it fit together. So this connector goes on the Raspberry Pi like that because there is pin 1 on the Raspberry Pi. So if you got the connector like this and the cable you want to make a construction which fits, comes out this way. If you do it the wrong way around the cable comes out that way. It's still connected to pin 1 but it's coming out the wrong way. So it's very simple to do that. So you have the press connector, you got the flat cable, and you have a vise. So I put the press connector in the vise so it just doesn't drop out. And what I have to be careful of is that I remember where pin 1 is. So pin 1 was on that side. Take the flat cable, the flat cable goes in with pin 1 on that side as well. Make sure it just sticks out at the other side, which you can feel with your finger. I'm holding it back a little bit like this, 90 degrees on it, because if you put it wrong, you get the wrong connection. Hold it like this, and all you have to do is slowly close the vise until the ends are flat. There. Done. You got a perfect connector to connect to a Raspberry Pi. Now some other tips I can give you is often you want to split the outputs into separate individual wires. You can do that with a cutter but I found it's often easier if you use a sharp knife carefully cut it in like this. Next you have to free the ends up if you want to solder things to it. And if you're very lucky, you have one of these, which is a very nice wire strip, which can do multiple wires at the same time. So you can put that on there. Press it up and all the wires are stripped in one go. Then you can connect it up and good luck with your Raspberry Pi.